Hey, it's Nursey, a blessed RN, and I want you to solve a units per kilogram per minute problem with me using dimensional analysis. In this video, we will be using the puzzle piece method to piece together our equation to solve for what the question is asking us for. Let's look. A client has an IV of heparin, 25,000 units and 500 milliliters of D5W, infusing at 40 milliliters per hour. How many units per kilogram per hour is the patient receiving if he weighs 72 kilograms? So what is the goal? That's the picture on the puzzle box. So that's what the question is asking us units per kilogram per hour so units will go on top kilograms and hour will go on the bottom that's what we want our equation to look like once we get done canceling all of our units so what are our puzzle pieces anything that goes together so you see twenty five thousand units in 500 milliliters that signifies that that is together okay so we'll put our twenty five thousand units on the top and our 500 milliliters on the bottom and it's going at a rate of 40 milliliters per hour so we will keep that together so 40 mils on the top hour on the bottom and then his weight is 72 kilograms and it's just by itself so we always start with what it is that the goal tells us that we are looking for. And that's the units. So it'll go first and it'll go on the top. So we see this puzzle piece right here has our units. So it'll go first and it'll go on the top. So 25,000 units over your 500 milliliters. So now we have our milliliters at the bottom. It's not part of the goal, so it has to be canceled out. So you see it's at the bottom, so we need milliliters to go at the top in order to cancel out. So we'll use this puzzle piece right here. 40 milliliters over hour. What's together stays together, okay? We cross our units out as we go. So now we've got hour at the bottom. That's part of the goal, and we got units at the top. So only thing left is the kilograms. Now you see it's on the bottom. The goal tells you where the puzzle pieces go. So because it tells us that it's on the bottom, we'll put it right here on the bottom. So 72 kgs is on the bottom. And instead of putting the one on the bottom this time, we'll put it at the top. So now we have our goal and we can multiply our numerator and multiply our uh, denominator and then divide our numerator by our denominator. So the numbers on the top and the numbers on the bottom, divide the top by the bottom and our answer will be do 27.77 and let's say it asked us to round to the nearest whole number so our answer will be 28 units per kilogram per hour all right, we're making those calculations as easy as cookies and puzzles. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share with your fellow cohort. And as always, be blessed.